Um, my final season of Little League Baseball probably ended in the way that many people's final season uh, ends, is that you come into your first day of practice and realize that you were uh, late and you missed the puberty train. <laughs> and everybody else on the team is bigger than you, stronger than you, and faster than you. And I, I tried my hardest, and you know, my, my first step out of the season, I actually, I got a hit. Um, I hit it up the third base line, just like a weak dribbler. I chugged it out, you know, I managed to get to first base and didn't get thrown out. And it was the saddest hit you've ever seen, but it was a hit, but it was tough. And I figured, well, it's, you know, it could only get worse from here, starting off the season batting a thousand, and it did. I managed to go hitless for my next 27 at-bats. <laughs> I had a batting average of 0 0.36. So, um, and I, I think the Phillies are actually looking at me now at this point. But um, it got so bad, you know, like every, everybody on the team knew it. Every, everybody, no one wanted to talk to me. And the final game of the season, uh, it was school had ended. Uh, there were a lot of kids already on summer vacation. And the team we were facing had only eight players. They, could only, they couldn't feel the full team. So the coach comes up to me and says, hey Brad, um, you know, I, I hate to do this, but would you like to go over and join the other team? <laughs> they need I thought maybe you want to have like a more kind of representative player from the team, like someone that might actually give them a chance, but no, they, they went with me. And so I went over on that team and he said to me before I went, he said, look, I know this hurts, but you know, just because you're not playing with your team, still do your best, you know? And I'm like, of course. I do my best. I want to try to uh, try to hit a home run here for crying out loud. I want to beat you. And um, so the first two times I got up, I of course struck out as usual. And the last time I got up, we were we were losing, and we had guys on second and third. I was up, and I took a swing and hit a line drive right up the first base line, scoring both runs, and we won the game. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> The team was cheering me on. Even the coach, you know, even though he, he lost because of what he, he did because of that decision, he was proud because he knew his coaching, you know, had coached me up to get to that point where I could make that hit, and it <laughs> felt great. And everything about that story was true, except up until the point where I say I got the hit. Because <laughs> I actually just struck out. The game was over. Both teams hated me. <laughs> I took my glove, threw it in the garbage, went into my mom's car so no one could see me cry, and never played organized sports again. Aww. So, wait, this is a story about rising above, right? <laughs> so anyway, so my point is, don't tell a story like that and you'll be fine. <laughs>